the top of the morning to you, everybody. We are here on the legendary map that is Bokash. Can you feel the energy pouring right through you? Yes, you can. Of course you can. That's amazing. And let's move on with the game, shall we? In the red, it is PFC, Private First Class, playing as the Soviets. And he has already logged in Urban Defense Tactics. And he is up against none other than... Ashabua playing as Obercommando Vest. Now he is bringing along with him special operations, a Kubelwagen, and a breakthrough doctrine along with Overwatch doctrine. Bulletin wise, PFC is going with the standard infantry buffs here, whereas Ashabla has got a bit of a mixed bag. Yeah, locking in Overwatch and Jaeger Light Infantry, they are a little more accurate, have more uh, sight, and medical supplies, they are cheaper. Along with the uh, walking Stuka, it simply re recharges faster. What's it called? Previously on the walking Stuka. Funny name. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. PFC going penals, 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 penals. Look at these boys heading out. Gonna grab a little bit of territory here. He has his combat engineers on the front, grabbing those high points. And already making a move. I can almost touch the other capture zone. Not quite though. Anyway, Kubelwagen being used uh, very well here in the early game. It's uh, just looking to harass infantry. But uh, <sighs> once he spots the penals here, he should be more careful with the Kubel because there, then he knows there is a potential that his opponent would go for the uh, M3 seeing as he's gone special rifle command. And the Kubelwagen is less than likely to survive an encounter with the M3, especially if it's alone, because the Kubelwagen cannot outrun the um, M3. And the M3 does more damage to the Kubelwagen than the Kubelwagen can return. Well, Ashabla already having gone Raketen, it's in production, Kubelwagen Chipping in here with a little bit of damage, trying to push back the uh, M3, and yeah, three minutes in, flamethrower on the way, as is tradition. Kubelwagen going up here alone, it's it's alright for it to be alone up here now that uh, Ashabar knows the M3 is this side of the map here, but most likely getting repaired, you know, he can hear the repair sounds through the fog of war, so... M3 is out of action, but not anymore. And this is just so brutal here. No snares available for Obercommander Vest. Could potentially go for the um, Panzer's Wreck here just to ward off uh, the M3 scout car a bit. Anyway, we have the Raken Werfer slowly but surely trying to get the get the good angle here on the M3 but it's just placing itself behind the shot blocker here making it so difficult for the Raketen to be useful in this engagement here and Ashabla simply takes too much damage here calls the retreat allowing him to get down um, some medical supplies conserve manpower Okay, scouting done. Attack round coming through. Hello? No? No attack round? Okay. Hm. Something was built. Uh, it's just mines being laid here by the other combat engineers and... Field infirmary going up. Ashablob. He has yet to call in his first truck. Shouldn't be long now, I would imagine. Just get that truck deployed. So you can get the, um, the Panzerfaust available. Oh yeah, mm, close to Vista. Command level capabilities ready. 
ready for deployment. Command level capabilities ready for deployment. Let's see. Jaegers. Still no truck for him. Wow, he is definitely confident that he can uh, keep uh, that scout car out of harm's way. Well, a, a good shot there by the Rakitin. Once again, it's out of action for a while, but yeah, it's almost up to Vet 2. And that when, uh, that's when the scout car can capture territory by itself, not needing to have anyone um, stationed inside of it. Ah, there we go. First truck on the way, and Kubelwagen earns the first rank, allowing it to utilize the detection ability. A handy dandy feature, especially late game, so you have an idea of uh, your opponent's position. Well, a better idea. You, in this case, Ashablot should probably know that his opponent is in this direction. <laughs> Yeah, the Jaegers, they cannot get the uh, G43 rifles just yet. Truck has arrived and it is actually continuing to move forward, I can tell on the minimap. And has parked outside of the base. At least for the moment. More medkits. Oh, that could indicate that he wants to go for uh, Mechagnized instead of Battle Group. That also explains why he would delay his um, his truck. He was really um, determined to go for Mechanized Day, eh? despite having uh, the light scout car around it. Which, by the way, have, has reached the vet too, so could move up here, grab the point, but mm, better not. Rakenworth is already moving into position. Oh, hello. It's just trying to relocate itself here, but let's keep an eye on these two icons down here. Ah, met two. Almost up to three stars. Yes, there we go. Recognized coming in, being placed just outside of the, um, the base. So he would get a get a little uh, benefit here from any forward repairs by the mechanics meanwhile Kubelwagen and the boys here just capturing territory mm, stopping the bleed here Ashabla of course having a is a little bit down on the VPs um, due to PFC's choice of going for the light scout car it's such an excellent unit to use against Oba Commando Vest in the early stages of the game seeing as um, OKW okay, usually lacks a snare in the early game if they want snares in the early game then they have to go Panzerfusiliers which makes it a little harder for the uh, light scout car to maneuver PFC with the T70 here is she's just continuing to Utilize his vehicles to pressure Ashabla, but Ashabla has had enough. He's getting out a Puma. Um, hello, shock troopers. The unit with armor, body armor. Hmm. Oh yeah, now that the um, mechanized regiment is down, G43 rifles will be issued. Haven't seen any. Yeah, he lacks munitions to get the uh, Sturmgewehr upgrades. Ready, and with the Puma on the field, the Predator is looking for its prey. I wonder if um, if, PS if PFC will go PTRS rifles on his penals. Somehow, I think that. He won't? It's just some f a feeling that I got that he instead uh, will scratch that thought 
uh, Panzer II is in the works now, and that could mean that. Yeah, definitely. There we go. But uh, he's going PGRS rifles, reducing their uh, anti-infantry capabilities um, a bit, while in turn makes them that much stronger versus light tanks and vehicles. He's even calling in a baby AT gun now. Hmm, so a couple of PTRS, a 45mm and a T70. Okay, could make it work, could make it work. Especially uh, combo it with the uh, scout car here. Then it gets to be the PTRS um, clown car. Okay, that's uh, that's actually blast mine. Man, if the Puma would uh, were to suffer engine damage with the uh, scout car and PGRS gangs here comboed up, uh, it could be a quick death for the Puma. Panzer two has arrived. And now it's regretting coming onto the battlefield as it's completely reversing away from the front line. <laughs> hmm. Ready for hmm. We have movement here as PFC looking to snatch the high munitions point here. He is, of course, holding a the majority of the VPs, and that is a not so friendly mine. Ah, gets two models. Nice. And then they become Puma coming in. Do we have any? Uh, no, no other AT. Oh, it's over there. Uh, while the penals, they are coming in ready with their rifles. But at the moment, Ashabla seems to be falling back as pfc continues to grab territory for himself and this panzer 2 here well it's got an a kill it hasn't had uh, much time to shine on the battlefield yet okay we have repairing on the front line but not been spotted i would imagine okay now they've been <laughs> and the 45 millimeter is sitting there Next up, probably just going to be um, medium tanks for our players here. I would imagine Ashabla wants to get out a medium tank first before he goes for um, goes for heals. Hmm. But uh, it's just just a feeling that I've got, rather than um, you. Just that if he were to go for uh, heals right now, then it would uh, would delay his uh, Panzer IV a bit. And seeing as PFC, he is just well, he's pretty much good to go when it comes to uh, getting out a um, T34. However, Ashabla with the Puma and the Raketen were for Ken defeat the t-34 it's not like it'll be running around the map uncontested in fact i've seen a puma actually take down t-34s in one-on-one -on -one, well not completely one-on-one -on -one battles but uh, give the puma a, a little bit of a handicap in that engagement and it can win And not just by uh, the T-34 missing and bouncing every shot, but <laughs> T-34 bouncing on a Puma? Oh, I don't think so. Well, Ashabla struggling in terms of VPs. Ah. Going mechanized here has not yet benefited him. I'd say, but if, um, oh God, please retreat. Well, there goes that. 
Well, as I was uh, gonna say, if you can uh, keep these vehicles here alive, get some veterans on them, then perhaps in the later stages of the game, he'll be better off. If we are even gonna make it to the late game, of course. <laughs> Double capped at the moment, but Ashbla is looking to turn it into a stalemate. Oh no, we lost that one. Baby AT gun mans up and becomes a killer. Well, he's, he's got the Puma, and I'm not trying to jinx Ashablah here, he's, he's got the Puma. But yeah, two losses, one after the other, starting with the Volk squad and followed by the Lukes. Mm. Smoke being deployed, shock troopers, but they did get suppressed a tiny bit and yep. Stone Pioneers not wanting to storm the shocks. Eshablav, he has the fuel that he needs to set up his Sphera Mechanized Headquarters. Oh, but the T-70 may have it overextended a, a bit here. That's a Panzerfaust. And now the Puma just needs to connect one or two times, perhaps. Ah, one shot takes out the main gun. Nice. There it is, dead. We got Penal's PTRS boys coming in, but the Puma is long gone. Oh, it actually hits a mine as it tries to escape. And yeah, the party boss here is not going anywhere with any PTRS boys. Double PTRS on the Penal's now. All right. Having um, penals with PTRS rifles in the, um, the late game is something that is uh, nice to have around when you're protecting your uh, tanks against potential dives. Seeing as the PTRS rifles will deliver um, reliably uh, damage to the medium tanks that were to dive in. And then there's also the satchel charge here, <laughs> making a dive a little bit of a precision discipline, not driving in too close to the penals. Don't forget to ride when you get back home. Ah, it's a new Jaeger squad. I was wondering why only one kill and now two, but yeah, here they are. These are the veterans of the Jaegers. Oh man, shock troops. They are actually going for it. I didn't expect them to do that, but at least they didn't lose any models or cross the negative cover row uh, stream there. Puma is like, so, my dude, oh, he cannot see them? Oh, now he can. I was wondering, why isn't the Puma turning its uh, turret? Mm. Asha Blah about to take up. PFC already done so, and yep. <laughs> It's going to be the KV-2. <sighs> Just look. Look at it. It's so ugly. But this is not a fashion show. PFC can hear the engine humming in the distance. And the Puma is not going to be uh, that efficient versus this uh, Hulk of Metal. One shot, one kill. Keep it up. Well, the Puma is trying to come over here, but again, there are PJRS rifles and this hunk of metal. Yeah, the Puma is scared. 
understandably it's no longer on top of the food chain or maybe it never was as man is still on the field and with man is equipped with the right weapon then the puma becomes the hunted just in time here to catch these boys getting uh, ready to set up the uh, giant flak cannon Still, Asha Blast holding. He has the middle. He has the right side. So, given how he is up against the heavy tank, I don't think he considers he's doing he's doing all right for himself. And um, now that the um, Svara Panzer headquarters is about to go up, then it won't be long before he can get out um, a tin can opener. I wonder if he'll be going for a Jack Panzer, which certainly they be a reliable tune when it comes to penetrating the KV2. Yes. KV8 being the flamethrower, KV1 being the the big tank with the tiny turret. Oh, wet free Skarka doing its thing, capturing. Such a nice little uh, piece of utility to have on the map. Siege mode, I guess. Yeah. Haven't really seen siege mode be that effective. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know if that shot was intended for uh, the penals. Maybe the guy who was like, all right, I'll inspire them without using the ability here. That ought to motivate them. A little wake up shot. Oh, <laughs> utilized aim shot, <laughs> taking down one of the, uh, one of the shocks. Oh, and got a mine. Game sense, you know. Oh, no, he had minesweepers here. <laughs> Meanwhile, up north, everything is quiet at the moment. Clown Cow just coming in here, checking to see how the middle is going or not. And where is the KV-2? It's back in siege mode here, but... Well, okay. It destroyed the green cover, but didn't get any kills. <laughs> and trying to hit the uh, Kugelwagen. Yeah, good luck with that. Those shells aren't moving that fast. Still has a way to go before it can reach veterancy free, freeing up um, some repair times for the stone pyros, of course. Panther on the way. Good versus heavy tanks. And with a machine gun on top, it also becomes um, decent versus infantry compared to a Jagdpanzer. Well, KV-2 doubling the amount of kills, at least for now. Come on, shoot. Ah, there we go. Oh, the Jaegers, they're gonna take this one here. PFC manages to call the retreat just in time, saving his squad. Hmm. And now, the Katusha rocket launcher. It's gonna be blasting away. It's gonna find Ashabla's men trying to dig in in green territory, get rid of the, the rocket and warfare here. All good targets for the Katusha. <laughs> and Puma is like, I'll get you, I'll get you, but yeah, not really. It was the Puma who suffered the most. KB1 showing its face now that um, artillery is going in on the location where the Rakettenwerfer were, making it a little more safer for it to go in there. Oh boy, here it comes. He's big, he's unstoppable, mostly. And he just blew up a mine.
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Negative cover. That could be a wipe. That's going to be a wipe. Surely. No, he's focusing the Jaegers? Okay. Hmm. And thus, the guy survives. You gotta protect that um, property of the state, you know. Asher Blah. Plus 200 fuel. Did he? Oh. Okay, he cancels uh, the Puma. Uh, well, not the Puma, the Panther. KG it is then. KG it is. Also, heals up. No, not yet. In fact, he has unlocked the mechanized spell group support. KT soon? I guess. Gonna be a big cat on big tank action. Yay. Puma scores a penetrating shot. He is sneaking around. Just gotta capture that point down there. Making it a double cap currently uh, hurting PFC. Or perhaps make it a triple cap. But falling back here, yeah, I think PFC will be able to take this engagement. Not anymore. <laughs> Not with the arrival of the heavy machine gun, but um, there are certain remedies for uh, machine guns. In this case here, um, PFC just demonstrating how the Katusha Barrage is most excellent of getting rid of heavy machine guns well pfc what's it gonna be here what's it gonna be in terms of next unit su-85 Sh surely pfc must realize that uh, we are at the 27 minute mark and his opponent hasn't field a medium tank he did get both light tanks, but uh, again, looking at the clock and no medium tanks out here, that um, that spells heavy tank or KT for me. The trick is if PFC is actually aware of it or if he is too focused on what's going on at the moment and not what his opponent may be preparing and there we go resources spent kt arrives on the battlefield here oh yes there will be trouble now and this is where pfc should probably bring on the su-85 he probably has uh yeah well he has the fuel for it Getting the manpower. Surely. Uh, yeah, let let the, let the 45 millimeter handle it, okay? It's VET 2, it can do it. Yes, I got complete confident in the crew here. And this one here is back in siege mode. It's perhaps scratched the paint by the looks of it. A tiny, tiny portion of HP was taken away. And now SU-85 on the way. Oh. Almost got the shocks. Not too shabby. And here we go. Siege mode. Again, not really killing anything. <laughs> oh, siege mode is so bad. In terms of dealing damage. Ugh, it's so inaccurate. Not, I suppose, it gets an extended um, range. Well, Kubelwagen also catching a little. Oh my god. Pios down! Pios down! Uh, moving forward here. Kubelwagen still standing. Cannot repair itself, and a little bit of a shame now that the stern Pios are. Uh, off the map does he have any repairs yeah mechanics are on the field <laughs> bounce kt bounces on this hulk 
disengages taking some damage here even the 45 millimeter is like let me at him let me at him I'll get him I'll get him wow doink doink what's oh it's the puma <laughs> oh boy one two knockout well that spells uh, the end of uh, the light tanks Aegis gonna pop some hits here almost up to vet five one kill could actually push them over there we go vet five nice stone powers getting replaced and they are sending one infantry squad at us and what do you have um heavy tank um light scout car rocket artillery tank destroyer then why are you falling back well the jaegers ah i understand completely have a nice day and now look at all the planes here in the sky and there is nothing on the field here for pfc to shoot down those planes so he's just gonna have to uh, be patient wait 50 seconds for uh, the planes to go away meow 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 this is not music in um pfc's ears pew, pew, pew. well looks like the planes are gone yeah but the circle is still there yeah move move out move out okay just don't get spotted okay that's when the plane comes for you Let's just have a little look here, Ashabla. What he can see, he cannot really see that much of where his opponent is. Ah, KV2 just came in um, his field of view. Oh, almost at free. Nice. Serves a little golf clap. Well, the KV-2, however, is uh, making its way up to vet free, but... Uh, at the moment, PFC struggling when it comes to VPs. Uh, at least the KV-2 has done something, but... Oh! Sniped! And he didn't even use Spearhead. Good pickup for Ashabla, who is making a... Making a nice comeback here. You know, early game he was struggling, but PFC's uh, KV2 here is hasn't been the death of Ashabla, despite its best efforts. And now Ashabla going for the Jack Panzer. Just snipe, get some sniping shots at the um, KV2 and return fire on the SU-85 here. Well, at least PFC still has his uh, scout car. Looks like uh, this has turned into a talk of war match where people are fighting over the middle while holding one of the outskirt victory points. Back in base. Yeah, medics has been, uh, been called on. <sighs> well, I don't think we're gonna see any crazy maneuvers here from Ashabla, seeing as he's got the KT on the field. It's not that speedy and useful for flanking. It'll probably be discovered and heard before it uh, can strike. And again, siege mode. Would be nice to see it hit something. Come on! Nope. <sighs> Might as well be firing confetti. Again, miss, miss, miss. Oh, that shot. Issue 85. 
Oh, well, that's dead now. There goes the scouting unit. Spearhead activated. Driving in here. And just gonna continue to push through. Finds the baby AT gun, vet free, but yeah. Not gonna do much for it, eh? It is the uh, KV-2 and SU-85 that uh, deals the bulk of damage to the uh, Königstiger. And now vet free. Oh yeah. Jack Panzer joining in on the fun but now PFC is almost down to a hundred points whereas Ashabla well he has taken the north and the retaking the middle but PFC has zigzagged over here and thus the territory just uh, got switched uh, 180 degrees now it's victory nice also Ashabla well he could uh, do a push here push back um, PFC and then call in the skill planes that could be a devastating push if Ashabla were to do that just needs to get his uh, armor repaired Kubelwagen however will of course service itself and the pioneers here actually prioritizes it over uh, the KT but uh, the KT cannot currently be repaired by the um, mechanics as they don't touch it if it is in combat what is the Jack Panzer here doing? It's going in on the kill for the SU-85. We have the skill planes, but no follow-up by the KT. We do, however, have the Jack Panzer here softening up the KV-2. Uh, Hopefully the planes can get it. But, 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 I don't think there's any plane that has locked onto it. So it looks like the KV-2 here is gonna live another day. Here comes the plane, but nope, it's good. KV-2 lives, SU-85 getting quickly repaired and the KT will be um, sitting on the middle VP guarding it. Uh, are we going to see a satchel? Nope, apparently not. And this penal battalion is is lost. <laughs> oh, that's a little, a little greedy here. <laughs> it might have actually... Um, oh. Siege mode! Killing off the Raketenwerfer. Sure PFC he would love to get a... Uh, get his hands on that. Yeah, there we go. A little AT. Never heard. T-34. You know, we have almost seen uh, Commander Bingo from PFC. All that we need to see is booby trap territory from, from him. And of course, uh, Ford headquarters. <laughs> Go down here, convert it into a headquarters. Go! Might actually get attacked by the uh, flak gun. Gonna move in here. He's sprinting. Gonna be disengaging for a while and now re engage. But yeah, smoke deployed. PFC gonna take the South VP. But now he's got um, got some problems here. There's a big royal butt sitting on the middle here. And the new Jagdpanzer is coming in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, PFC, he needs to make some sort of a move here. A winning move that can get him back into this game because he is... He's losing points tick by tick. Well, more PTRS rifles. Not that it's gonna do much damage to a heavy tank. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Medium tanks, sure. But heavy tanks, uh, I doubt it. Well, at least he's got his SU-85 along with him. And those Jagos, yeah, okay, they're gonna get back. Bounce, bounce, bounce. We can work for also backing up. Meanwhile, down south, this the T-34. It's trying to defend the VP here, but Jack Panzer won't have any of it. And is now being joined by another one. Well, these boys here certainly are in uh, bad company. <laughs> any company that's out to kill you is a bad company, I'd say. So, find another friendly circle you can hang around in.
Jack Panzer. Having been given uh, its uh, side armor, making it more doable. T-34 is busting a move down here, but two tank destroyers down there. It's going to be difficult for it to have an impact. Unless he can really pull off some crazy maneuvering here. First shot goes in on the T-34, trying to get around. Does succeed, but this Jack Panzer here is lining up a shot. And the shot disappears into time, space. Might actually get it here. Another shot being lined up. And I'd say that was probably GG. Even the Kubelwagen here being utilized to uh, stop the capture of their uh, KV-2. Actually 39 kills. So it's not like it hasn't been completely useless. No, it's actually been doing something. And PFC surrenders just one VP short. Alrighty then. That's it for this time, folks. I hope you enjoyed it and like and subscribe if you did, dislike the video if you disliked it, and I'll see you next time. Unless you want to watch some stats, then we can do it together. Mm -hmm. And here it is. Asha Blah, a hit in army value. PFC takes over, but uh, that would be the time when the, the KV to arrive and then the king tiger there resources are resources and points held yeah pfc holding on to the middle here and then ashabla coming back in a little bit of a struggle down here but no it is ashabla who came out on top and the units lost one penal squad Rest with team weapons, so good uh, infantry preservation from PFC. But yeah, let's move over to Ashablam. Jaegers kept alive, lost one bulk. Both Sturmpires actually died. Oh, that's 600 manpower gone. Kubelwagen being effective actually Puma does almost the same amount of damage to infantry uh, compared to the Kubelwagen hmm. but yeah that'll be all so see you next time goodbye